Late last year, there were reports of Ugandans who were trafficked to Myanmar and are working as slaves in areas that are controlled by rebel groups in the country. The issue has previously been discussed on the floor of parliament. Today, the State Minister for Foreign Affairs in charge of regional affairs, John Mulimba tabled a report on stranded Ugandans in parliament. He told parliament that only 30 Ugandans are known by the government to be stranded in Myanmar and are currently in two camps. They are held in two camps, namely 16 persons in Bailo compound, Kain state, and 14 in the UK compound. I had another meeting last week with IOM in Italy over the same together with several Ugandans and different compounds, not only Bayro and UK compound. These rebels operate compounds as camps, and many Ugandans are distributed in various camps within Myanmar. We still sustain and retain that the number of Ugandans from our counting is 450, and they are likely to be more. He says government is in talks with the government of Myanmar to secure the safety of the Ugandans. It was agreed that Uganda and Myanmar establishes bilateral relations and create cooperation frameworks in immigration and anti-trafficking and anti-human trafficking, among others. There are some Ugandans who are stranded in Egypt following a directive by the government that all foreigners who are staying irregularly and illegally in the country should legalize their stay by December 2023 or leave. Government says they don't have money to evacuate the Ugandans. At the moment, there is no fund to support Ugandans abroad in these stress conditions, and therefore the responsibility to bring them back home rests with them or their families. Mulimba says 200 Ugandans, mostly women, are stranded in India and are mostly victims of human trafficking. He says government does not have the funds to repatriate them. I wish to emphasize that our diplomatic missions are unable to provide financial support to Ugandans abroad who find themselves in serious difficulties, but they exert all efforts to locate and provide consular assistance. Uganda is under distress. Uganda has a national carrier, a Uganda airline. When it comes to repatriating Uganda nationals who are stranded and distressed abroad, let's discuss it with the boldness and with, with honesty. The foreign affairs officials support the idea of having a migrant or consular protection fund. However, some MPs say the number of people who are working as slaves in Myanmar is close to 450.